how to restore a SQL Server Master Database. To start with, we will we have a quick look on the initial setup. We have SQL Server 2008 default instance installed on this machine. We created a login on the SQL Server called Test Login to verify the successful restore. And uh, the master database is already backed up on drive C in a folder called Backup. Uh, the file name is master.back. So we will go through the restore process and see how it works. Let's see the demo. To do that, first we delete the test login to verify that a successful master restore uh, when the demo is complete. So let's go back to the SQL Server Management Studio where the logins are created and you see that test login is created here. I select it and I just drop this. Okay. So step one is complete. It's deleted. After deleting it, we need to stop the SQL Server service. I go to the SQL Server Configuration Management and find the instance that I want to work with it. Right click and stop the service. So it stops the SQL Server service. Next step is starting the SQL Server service in single user mode. The whole idea is that when the SQL Server service is running, we cannot restore the master database because master database will be in use. How to do it? Let's go and see. Still, it's trying to stop the service. So I just right click on the service instance and I go to the properties. We go to the advanced tab and under advanced tab, it tells us which folder we should go. If you see the install path, you see this folder, I just double clicked on it, and I'm just selecting this folder because this is where I need to go. I just copy it, and I go to the command line. So when I go to the command line, please remember you have to run this command line as the administrator. and I just click on continue. So I have a command line with the administrator privilege on this machine. All I need to go, I need to go to the same folder that I copied from the service and I just press enter. Under this folder, I go to the bin folder and under that, here is my command line, SQL server.exe. The parameters that I need are hyphen M and hyphen C to start with, and it will start SQL Server service in the single user mode. Okay. It just stays in the command line, and we don't need to do anything else. The next step is go to the SQL Server command line. So we need another command line. I go back to the start menu and I go to the command prompt. This one, we don't necessarily need to run it as the administrator because as long as the login account that we have has, ex has administrator access to the SQL server, it's just good enough for us. We are not playing with the services. So we go to the SQL server CMD or SQL server command line, which is our next step. Restore the master database. Now, we will restore the master database from the command line. So let's write the command line, restore database master from disk equals C column backslash backup backslash master dot BAK. Of course, with recovery, and just go. This command 
will restore the master database from the file that we have. Let's go back to the other command line and see what has happened. As you can see, it is terminated. It means that you restore the master database and we don't need it in the single user mode. SQL Server Service is stopped now. Next step is start the SQL Server Service normally. So where we go, we go to the SQL Server Configuration Manager, right click on the service instance and start it. takes a while to start. Verify the restore by checking the existence of the test login. So we got to make sure first starting the service is successful. We go back to the management studio and verify. Now all we need to do is just coming back here, refreshing the logins and making sure that the test login is here. We successfully restored the master database. Thank you.